I can never get it when I'm on the ground You can never get it when you pull me down Even when I fall, let's be open now Something about the space that I honor now Something about the race of the richest town Something about this place falling down I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown This ain't Holly Choco, we ain't fighting now Hey, it's Anna so this video is just going to be whatever it turns out to be because it's another day of being deep in my feelings and like fighting the fear to be able to even film so we're going to talk about it, we're going to share our feelings, going to let you in into my mind you know we can call this a Zana Diaries or something because this is literally just me journaling to you you know and I feel like it's important because we all get in our feelings, we all go through these phases and these phases kind of never end, like we always end up circling back to being in our feelings and listening to the fear, getting caught up in our mind, all that kind of stuff. And also it's Gemini season, which is all about the mind and expression and communication. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my main trigger, so to speak. <laughs> So it makes sense that in the season of communication, I would be battling myself about communication. Of course that would happen, you know. So yeah, I'm just kind of facing some fears again, which doesn't really make sense because I kind of last week or the week before really had faced them, really like felt that fear to dissolve. I felt like I was past it and then this week it's kind of come up again. But at the same time this week has been a bit of a roller coaster like emotionally and mentally just lots of triggers and lots of things where i'm like having myself revealed to me you know so when you're like on this path and you're working through that these things happen and sometimes you feel like you're taking a thousand steps backwards when really you're not like it's just about taking the time for yourself and that's what this kind of is like I'm realizing I have to just stop trying to force the video stop trying to force myself to do shit when I'm feeling the opposite you know like I'm in my feelings I don't feel like filming I don't feel like talking I don't really know what to say and it's like instead of fighting that it's actually okay to just flow with that you know and actually speak about the things that I want to speak about instead of forcing specific topics or forcing myself to be uncomfortable you know so I don't know I feel like there's a lot of stigma and a lot of like looking down upon you feeling lower emotions and looking down upon you even allowing yourself the space to just feel it and just sit in that anxious feeling and like try and get clarity within it you know there's a lot of like oh you need to just brush it away or you need to act like it's not there you need to be positive vibes only you need to like you know what I mean you just have to like it literally forces you to go against yourself and go against what your intuition is calling for you and go against the way that your body is feeling you know like the way it's reacting to things it reacts to things in a way that you may not even understand like because it knows, because your subconscious knows, you know, so that's why it's important to listen to your body and how it feels when you react to certain things, and so we've kind of been conditioned to ignore that, and to go against that, and like, just kind of almost shut ourselves up, you know, like shut our intuition off, and get caught up in our minds, and caught up in the ego, and caught up in what the mind is telling us, like the false stories that it creates, you know. So here I am again in this wonderful space of fear against self-expression because this is one of my deep traumas that I need to work through, which I am working through and have come very far with. But every now and then it's just like, okay, inner child, I feel you. I feel that you're like really not in the mood today. You're really kind of going against yourself and that's okay. It's fine let me love on you a little bit and create like a safe space you know so yeah I don't really know what this video is but I'm feeling towards like trust in yourself and your inner guidance that's definitely something that I've been like really triggered with this week to be honest really triggered with 
is how to trust yourself and trust what you're feeling and trust what your body's saying to you and trust what you need and even when you don't understand why it is that that thing is happening why you need that thing why your body's reacting a certain way why you're feeling so much fear like even when you don't understand why you just have to kind of roll with it and trust that it's telling you something and trust that it's right you know and just let it be what it is and take that time that you need and try and look a little bit deeper into each thing that you're feeling and why you're feeling it and what it's trying to reveal to you you know because oftentimes we do kind of really go against ourselves and I definitely do that have always done that and it's something that I'm trying to shift right now you know because I don't know, I feel like sometimes the intuition literally screams so loudly at you, but then you almost trick yourself out of it. You almost convince yourself that what that is saying is ego and what that is saying is wrong and what that is saying is like a false story when really it's actually your intuition, you know? And deep down inside you know that it's your intuition, but yet you're trying to like brush it aside and ignore it and act like it's lying almost because you want to play it safe or... I don't know, sometimes it's like being afraid to face the truth, maybe, because then you have to implement a change, I'm really calling myself out right now, because <laughs> then you have to implement a change that you're kind of scared to make, or you don't trust yourself to believe that it's the right decision, even when you know that it's the right decision, so this is just something I'm really having to work through right now. I don't even know why I always get on camera and talk about this but I feel like clarity comes when you're like open with yourself because really I'm just talking to myself you know it's just me in a room with a camera so I feel like clarity comes more when you actually sit and just allow the thoughts to just flow three freely I can't even speak allow them to flow freely and just come out however they need to come out you know, because I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying, it's just kind of coming out and I end up calling myself out without even meaning to. <laughs> but yeah, so I do feel like we definitely don't trust ourselves sometimes and like ignore the signs and ignore what we're being called to and ignore what our body is saying and ignore what our intuition is saying and we brush it off and then that thing kind of calls you even louder you know something happens and it's like oh fuck I'm being forced to listen to it even though you don't want to and then you try and avoid it even more and then something else happens and it's like a massive slap in the face like will you just look at this will you just listen to yourself because you already know you already know that this thing was going to happen you already know that it was going to be this bad and yet you ignored it and now it's worse you know so this is what I'm dealing with right now because I keep ignoring myself and not expressing myself and not saying what I need and now being forced to say what I need well not really forced I feel like it's necessary I feel like I've been called to it so many times that now it's like okay I actually want to like I actually need to like I can't run from this anymore let me just speak my mind kind of thing but I don't know, self-expression is kind of difficult in this world because there's a lot of pressure and a lot of expectation and a lot of like idealism and societal norms and standards of like what the perfect person is or, you know? So I feel like that pressure kind of makes people go into their shell a little bit and makes people run from themselves a little bit. And then you settle for things that you didn't actually want or that like, you knew weren't right from the beginning, but yet you still went ahead with it. You know, it makes you settle in loads of, in loads of different ways, in different circumstances, with different things, just purely out of fear, really. And almost denial. But, yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Let me just keep on reading myself and pouring my heart out to the fucking camera. I don't know if I'm even going to upload this, but I don't know. There's just a lot of doubt and fears that we have to work through because we are reprogramming our minds and having to make huge changes. So, yeah, if you're feeling fear right now and you're debating a decision, just know that, like, you can never make the wrong decision. You can never pick something that's wrong because it's all a part of your path. And even when it's scary, like, it's actually okay to listen to yourself. And I know that can be terrifying as I am feeling it right now, but, like, 
it's important, you know, you are all that you're ever going to be in this world and your relationship with yourself is the most important and if you're suppressing a part of yourself or you're avoiding a part of yourself just to make yourself feel less scared and like a little bit more comfortable but yet you're having to then deal with situations that aren't serving you and that don't feel good anyway, like it's all just a disservice to yourself. And you're just prolonging the inevitable because at some point you are going to have to face yourself, you know. And oftentimes when you do face yourself, you realise it wasn't that scary at all because you are your own, like, best friend and supporter. Like, you know, like, what is there to be afraid of about yourself? Because it's yourself. It's you. It's who you are. So how can you ever be scared of that? And how can you ever be scared of expressing that and of being that? And putting that out into the world because that is you you know like it's it's literally you like it's not separate from you it is you so how can you be afraid of yourself of something that you are you know like it's definitely an agenda that's been pushed upon us but I'm starting to realize how false that is and how ridiculous that is <laughs> as someone that has definitely felt that so much but yeah I know, I just think this is about really learning how to trust ourselves and just embrace who we are and just, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> oh man, these emotions just, sometimes they just take over and they restrict you from everything. <sighs> they restrict you just from literally doing something that you actually want to do, like make videos, like something I actually want to do and it just restricts you because you get so caught up in your mind so caught up in listening to that stupid ass voice that doesn't even help <laughs> sometimes it helps but it doesn't even like it doesn't always have the best interest because it's just trying to survive so it's not really looking at the bigger picture you know of that actually you may fear this thing but really this thing is a benefit to you and you need to just go head on through it Yes, I think I'm going to leave this rambling video there because I don't even know what the fuck this is. <laughs> but maybe this will become a Zana Diaries series where I do just talk about myself. <laughs> That's such a Leo Moon thing to say. And an Aries Rising thing to say. Oh, fuck, I'm really reading myself. But I don't know. Sometimes I need to just pour my own emotions out and process my own emotions and not try and, like, talk about topics for other people, you know? To be fair, most of the topics I do talk about are because I'm dealing with it, so it does help me, but then sometimes you end up, I don't know, stuck through your own emotion, and then you need to be able to like process that without the expectation of it benefiting someone else, or without the expectation of like trying to give to other people, when really this bit is just for me, like it's just to help myself, you know? I don't know if that really makes sense, but... Fuck it, it is what it is because we are healing and processing and we're not perfect and stuff happens and life happens and all of that kind of shit and sometimes when you're learning harsh lessons, especially when you go for a week of like one minute you're really high and the next minute you're really low and it like fluctuates that much, you have to really just stop, like literally just stop and take the time to just allow yourself to breathe and I feel like that is what this is today. And that is what I'm feeling, like, called towards. So, yeah. I don't know, but I hope this video kind of maybe helped you a little bit. But it is just about, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now and meditate, I think. I think that's what I'm being called to do. But, yeah. We're in powerful times right now. People are really learning how to heal themselves. And that does not look pretty, let me tell you. So sometimes you end up getting on camera to film a, an amazing video and you just ramble to fuck for no reason. So here you go. Insight to the healing journey. You are welcome. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching me ramble. I appreciate it. All my links to everything will be in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a